Today I'm trying out Cezanne Professional Watercolor Pencils. This video is not sponsored, I bought these myself because I'm currently looking for good yet inexpensive watercolor pencils to replace my old ones. These were very affordable so I was skeptical about if they are really professional as the box says, but it was definitely worth a try. First I'm going to swatch the colors, then I'll see how they blend, and then I'll use them to try and make a portrait. I like that it came with a real paintbrush instead of one of those squeezable water brushes because I personally find it hard to have good water control with them. For the sake of an accurate review, I'll only be using the brush that came with the set. It's a size 4 round brush. I lost the footage of doing the other colors, which is unfortunate because I had wanted to talk about the differences in texture that I was noticing between each color. But I think I'll sum it up by saying that it seemed like every other color or so was a bit more brittle than I would normally like. I prefer softer watercolor pencils because the harder ones don't provide as much pigment and if you push harder to add more pigment, they often will indent the page and show your drawing strokes even when you try to blend it out with water, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Overall this is a nice collection of colors. I'm a big fan of neutrals and muted colors and there is a good amount of those here compared to what you'd normally get with inexpensive art sets. I'm guessing that has something to do with them using Cezanne for the title of this set since he is known for landscapes and portraits with similar colors to these. He didn't use watercolor that I'm aware of, but he did figure sketching with pencils so I suppose this is close enough. There's a wide range of pigmentation in this set which is important to know. I found that the red, orange, and most of the blues produced very vibrant colors with little effort, but for the black, gray, brown, and peachy colors, no matter how much pencil I added, once I added the water, the color remained quite pale. Next, I'm seeing how well these pencils will blend with each other. Based on the different textures I experienced, I'm guessing it won't be great, but I'm going to try and use the softer, brighter colors for this experiment. So far it's okay, but not great. I think I will try the colors right next to each other this time. You'll probably notice right away that there's a problem with that top blue. It seems to have stained the paper and doesn't want to blend. It's annoying, but if you're aware of it, then you can use it to your advantage when you want that effect, and avoid it when you don't. This time I'm using the same colors but blending them together while they're dry to try and avoid the unblendable lines showing up behind the painting. However, it looks like this particular blue is going to be difficult and always keep its pencil strokes. This effect might be useful for bold outlines that I want to keep intact, but I'll probably avoid this color otherwise when I can remember to. This is why it's important to take time to get familiar with your medium of choice and why you shouldn't always expect to get amazing results right away. This applies to real watercolor as well because different colors and brands will react differently and have different finishes when they dry. Last is the portrait sketch test. It will probably look pretty weird at first, but that's just part of the process, or at least part of my process. You'll see that I sketch in a few different colors, laying down shadows and highlights and things, then I add water, let it dry, and then repeat the process until I'm happy with it. The way I got into watercolor pencils is that I was gifted a set of them back when I was mainly doing pencil drawings, digital art, and the occasional acrylic painting. I always liked the way watercolor looked, but I was intimidated by the real thing. I thought it would be difficult and expensive, so the pencil seemed like an easy first step. Having done real watercolor now, it's not a perfect substitution, but it has its own unique functions and mimics the finished look of watercolor enough that I think a lot of people might enjoy it. With the pencils, it's very easy to add distinct lines and texture because you have a lot more control over where your pigment sits. If you're new to watercolor or painting in general, starting out with something inexpensive like this can be a great way to learn water control and brush control, which are important for almost every kind of painting. What first drew me to this particular set, besides the price, was the packaging. The book style is a lot nicer and more functional than your typical box of pencils. I think it would be perfect for people who like to go places to paint as well. 
As a final test, I decided to see how dark I could make her hair because contrast is always something that I think makes paintings look better, so I decided to mix black and blue and see if I could get a nice dark tone. I think if I'd planned it that way from the beginning it would have turned out better, but it definitely has an interesting finish. Overall, I'd say this watercolor pencil set is decent for the price. My main gripe is the inconsistent pigmentation from color to color. However, I have tried sets where all of the colors come out dull when you add water, so I'm happy that at least half of the pencils here are relatively good. If you're even a little bit curious about watercolor pencils, I would say these are worth your time. If you're interested in trying them out, I'd say give them a shot. You'll likely enjoy them as long as you know what to expect going into it and you try each color out before you start your masterpiece. I personally think watercolor pencils are an underrated art supply that I don't hear enough about, so I hope you'll give them a try if you're looking for a new hobby. As always, links are in the description, and if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you think about watercolor pencils. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again for my next video.